Hello everybody, I'm very excited about this video. It's been a long time coming. I've been working really hard on this preschool curriculum. It's actually a culmination of parts and pieces that I've been working on for years. My first child was almost nine and some of these things I started making back when she was three. So it's been a long time coming. I've changed how we do things kind of with every child and this last child that I have, he's 18 months, he'll be ready to start preschool when he wants to but generally they start asking when they're two so i like to have things that they can do um this is just a culmination of everything i used with both of the other kids really excited let's get to it so first of all i wanted to talk about what is the preschool curriculum what's in it at the end of this video i'm going to show you a full preview so i'm also probably going to be posting that as a separate video so that i can just post that on um my my page on my um <laughs> in the description of the actual product as well as on etsy and teachers pay teachers but if you want to just skip ahead to that and skip all of the talking that i'm going to be doing you can actually go to the description of this video and go to the sections and just just click ahead you can clip it click in the jump links wherever you want trying to get through this my mouth is not working very well right now but hopefully you can understand what i'm about to say very excited let's get all right so first of all here is it in all its beautifulness it hasn't been found yet i'm trying to figure out how i want to do that for this order um this order is actually about to ship off to texas it's going to be going to texas tomorrow to a new home so exciting um and i wanted to show you some of what's in this how we intend to use it how we've used it in the past and of course tell you that you can do whatever you want you're homeschooling you're in charge you're the teacher you know your child best this take it with a grain of salt use it as a tool do not let it control you <laughs> Don't think just because I put something in there that it has to be used that way. Absolutely not. You know what's best. So without any further ado, let's start to talk about it. Um, I know I keep saying that, but let's really start to talk about it now. So first of all, the first week of the preschool curriculum is free. And the reason it's free is so that you can go download it, print it out, do it for a week with your child, see how it works. See if your child is engaged. See if it's under um, easy for you to understand, easy for you to teach, something that you can implement. Now, these lessons that I have come up with are designed to have a 15 to 30 minute pre-K two to three times a week. Um, I have included little schedules in each week, just if you do want like some people want to be told what to do and that's totally fine. And if you do like to be told or to have a plan that's already set out for you, I've included this in every single week and it starts with morning time and hands-on time and there's three days. Now there's three days because there is quite a bit in each week, which is why this is such a, why is this is such a thick file. Oh, you're getting the best of me today. Today is Monday. You probably won't see this till Tuesday, but today is Monday, that's why. Okay, so we've got a letter and a craft of the week, number of the week. Now the number of the week actually comes with a recipe too. So there's a recipe included for the number, shape, color, song. Now the song, I'm gonna have a whole um, document full of links to the songs that we like, but of course you can use any version of that song. Um, a Bible story, and I have a recommended children's illustrated Bible if you'd like to use that with your preschoolers because sometimes it's easier for them to understand when there's a lot more pictures. Memory verse, these affirmations go along with Aesop's fables. So I have a pre-K cheat sheet in the folder as well. Um, in the Google Drive folder that you can see. And if you would like to read the Aesop Fables too, that is not on the book list. It's kind of like a little extra bonus, but it goes along with the affirmation really, really well. Now there's also a skill of the week and three, two to three books for each week that are recommended to read. Now, like I said, this is completely a guideline. It's totally up to you how you want to do it, what you want to use. If you want to do everything, if you want to add some more, totally totally up to you we're gonna start using this with my little guy um, in a few months here because he is he's not quite two yet I have two older kids who are eight and six they each started to ask to do big kids school when they were two and so we just do you know little crafts here and there one thing I do want to mention there is not writing 
in this curriculum. This is a play-based, crafting, reading, hands-on curriculum. If your child wants to learn to write when they're in preschool, that is totally okay. But that is not something you even necessarily need a curriculum for. If you do want one, I do have some, but it is not attached to this at all because I don't think that's something that needs to be pushed until they're older. That's just me. If you want something else, that's totally fine. And I am more than happy to link some handwriting stuff in the description of this video. But I wanted to show you a little bit more about what's inside. I wanna show you my favorite parts and I wanna show you how I've printed it to make it easy. Um, and I'm also going to show you, possibly in this video, possibly in another video. If it's in another video, I'll link it up there. <laughs> I want to show you it's in the Google Drive folder. If my computer will work for me and I can do my little screen recording on there and add it to this video, that's totally what I'm going to do. You probably know this already if you've looked at the description and you see the jump links. So, oh yeah, let me show you my favorite parts. Okay, let's do this. So my first favorite part is the fact that every single week has a page like this. There's 26 weeks, which is good for six months. You know, that's half of the year. So you can do this two full times in a year. You can do this like where you, um, you know, you separate it by maybe you do four weeks on one week off, six weeks on one week off, whatever it is. And the two to three years of preschool age kids, you could do this curriculum between two and four times, two and five times if you school every week, but we don't. So but then again, it's only three days a week. So like I said, whatever you want to do. So first favorite part, very exciting. Second favorite part. Now, because of the way that this is set up, and you'll see this in the preschool cheat sheet that is in the Google Drive folder, we have these fun little flashcards to do with each week. And because of the way that um, we kind of have a scale of how we go along, you know, you go A to Z, which is the entire curriculum, but then it repeats one to 10 and one to 10. So the first 10 letters of the alphabet, you'll cover one to 10, then the 10 again, and then you're gonna do kind of just like a culmination of what they've learned. But we do that again with the um, colors of the rainbow. So it goes from red all the way to pink and then colors covers the rainbow. We've also got all the basic shapes. So each one of these, is going to be slightly different. You're gonna end up with one flashcard for each letter. And then some of the shapes and colors will also have different ones. And I've tried to make them so each one is themed to be this whole color so you can obviously tell. I hope those airplanes aren't too loud. We live right by an Air Force base. Um, hopefully that this is easy for you to keep the knowledge of which week it goes for. So that's my second favorite thing. My third favorite thing are the affirmations cards. I am just, I'm so excited about it. I was going back and forth for quite a while on what kind of memorization I wanted to do. And I feel like affirmations are an incredibly important thing to do with any age, but especially those young budding minds. So we have these affirmations, and I mentioned before that they each go with an Aesop's fable, which, like I said, is in the preschool cheat sheet also, but it's, they're simple. They're simple with God, everything is possible, and then that'll go with a story. Kindness is always possible. That goes with a story. So each one of these is, um, goes for two weeks. And this is, this is at the end of the printed curriculum. Then because it is, it is large, it's a large curriculum. If I were to print 10 to 13 pages for each letter, I believe the file was like 341 pages. I would have to charge you a lot more and I don't wanna do that. So what I did when I print these out, the pages that are not consumable, like the number guide pages, the affirmations, and the rainbow tea time pages, I just included in the guide at the back so that you can just use those as they come up in the curriculum. That way there's a lot less paper waste, it's cheaper for you, it's faster for me to print it to get it to you, and it's another favorite thing of mine. So I really, really hope that you love this. I've tried to make it as cheap as possible with still making my value be seen because I did work on this for a long, long time. It is on sale right now at 
the time of this video and it's going to be on sale until I think the end of March is when I'm going to end up doing so that I can try and get it in as many homes as possible because this is something that's very important to me that you know what if your child wants to start learning when they're younger like that I don't think you should say no just because one person said they shouldn't you know if you're forcing them to that's an entirely different situation and we don't have to talk about that in this YouTube video but if they want to like my daughter asked mommy can I please do school I'm like well yeah sure of course why not and now she's almost nine and she's writing her own unit studies and she has a higher reading level and it's because I like to say yes when we can my little um my middle child will who's almost seven in like a month he also asked when he was two because he wanted to do what big sissy was doing and my 18 month old is already trying to do things we actually have art all over our house i think you can actually see it in the corner of this video that's all his art there's art everywhere so i'm trying to find something that's easy for him to do that he can be a part of also because if i don't need to say no I'm not going to say no just to say no and just because somebody said that they shouldn't start until they're six or seven. I'm not going to force anything until they're that age. Not even then. Like I said, that's a whole other video. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to hop over and I think I'm just going to flip this around and show you on the computer really quick what the Google Drive folder looks like. Then I'll flip it upside down and kind of show you a flip through of the preschool curriculum. Oh, so excited. Please don't forget to share this with your friends. Like, subscribe, turn on that notification bell, and leave a comment if you have a nice comment or a question. Thank you. Okay, so this is going to be the basic curriculum Google Drive folder that you get. So we've got this as the full curriculum if you don't want to have to worry about printing every week and you just want the whole thing. I know I mentioned before it was huge. It's 341 pages. That's if you just want the whole thing or maybe you just want to take a glance through everything all at once. Then we also have each one each week up here. And like I mentioned, this one is free. So this is what you're going to see when you download the free one. And it gives you a really, really good idea about what each week looks like. You've got bingo games, you've got a recipe, you've got these really cool flashcards that I'm really proud of, you've got a little tea time idea, and then each one of these is also going to have like the words of a song, and this one's for the alphabet song, so these are also alphabet posters. You've got all 26 weeks. Then here's the pre-K lessons cheat sheet that's right at the bottom that I mentioned before. So this row... You've got the Aesop's Fable that accompanies the affirmation of the week. So like I mentioned here, with God, everything is possible. Goes with the crow in the picture. Or if you go down here, gratitude for what we already have is what brings us joy. Goes for the dog in his reflection. Because that story talks about how he was so jealous of the dog in the water that he actually dropped what he already had because he thought he wanted what somebody else had. It was really himself though. So... <laughs> Then you've got, you know, the skill, the letter, song, shape, and color, and what week it is. So this is just big at a glance. If you wanted to see exactly what the preschool curriculum is at a glance, this is the file for you. The next, if you go up here, you've got the affirmations. We're going to have all of the links to the songs here and the full book list here. And then I also am adding an upgraded feature if you just want all of the and it's only gonna be like five extra dollars. But if you just want all of the alphabet cards and the number cards and the full guides and stuff like that, I mean, I've included like the shape cards and everything here, that's gonna be in this main folder and then you'll have all of that in the other folder. So that is a brief look into what the Google Drive folder looks like. So once you get, once you purchase the product, you'll receive a PDF that has a link on it. When you click it, this is where you'll come. Just right here. All right, here we are. So cover page, of course, terms of use. You can use this in a co-op. You can use this in your church or your class and only copy for in the, within that class. And that's it, of course, in your own home as well. So like I mentioned, here is what every week is gonna look like. So I'm gonna show you every page of week one because it is free. So let's go ahead and do this. I think I need to zoom out just a little bit. There we go. Okay. Schedule. Morning time. 
hands-on time. If you'll see, I've got there are two crafts for every letter and then a recipe for number one. So you do kind of one big project a day and then work on the skills, the flashcards, drawing. This day is like, yay, let's have some fun hands on time making shapes. And this day is having a fun little tea time. And like I said, all of this is optional. I just wanted to include as much in it as possible for you. So then you do your crafts and I've, I have a picture of what each of them are supposed to look like at the end. You've got a bingo game, which is just totally for fun. So there's two of them. It's meant to be like a parent and me sort of a deal, but of course you can make copies for other children if you need to. The flashcards I mentioned, this is for the ABC song. So I have the um, lowercase and uppercase. And then it starts again. So that was week one. It seems like a lot when you look at this whole thing together, but it's really not. So then, like I said, we've got the letter, the number, the shape, the color, the song, the Bible story, the affirmation, the skill, and the book list. So I'm going to go ahead and show you in this video also the books that I recommend, which, like I said, are completely optional. You can use whatever you want. I feel like I have to say that because I get a lot of people that are not so kind about it. Um, <laughs> but... So here's the hands-on numbers. You've got the number shelf idea, the recipe, the number shelf idea, the recipe, etc. And that goes all the way to 10. Then the rainbow tea times, which again are optional, but they're so much fun. And I feel like it's such a good, fun way to learn your colors. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you the books. All right, so I looked through quite a few of the illustrated children's Bibles that we have available at our library. This was my favorite, is <laughs> the DK Illustrated Children's Bible. And uh, one of the reasons it was my favorite is just because of how they have the stories broken down. And the second reason, so they've got these fun maps and stuff in here, but the stories are short and sweet and have really good pictures. So you can use whatever Bible you want. With my older kids, I just use the actual Bible, but when they were younger, we did a lot of illustrated stuff because it's just easier for them. And then for Aesop's Fables, this is the book that I have. This covers all of the ones that we've recommended, but again, you can even find them online for free on the public domain. Um, and this one I got on Thrift Books. You can also get it on Amazon if you want it immediately, but it's so beautiful. I mean, it's gorgeous. I love this one. We've had this one for a few years now and it's wonderful. It has some of my favorite Aesop's Fables in there too. So I hope I have answered any questions that you had, but if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. If you wanna come back to this, you can always save this to your watch later playlist. You can always come back to my channel and watch. I know that this was a lot. This was a long video, but it's a big, beautiful curriculum that I put my whole heart into and I hope you love it and I hope that you see the lower price as a way for me to help people attain this homeschool. I don't want to make it so that people can't afford to homeschool the way we do. I don't like that at all and I've made it lower price so that if you did want to buy the books or you needed to buy any supplies or anything like that that it was it was more able you know you're more able to do that. So I hope you see my heart and I hope you love this and I will see y'all later.